got a 36 hour drive. We're gonna do it all in one go. This is so magic. Oh my God. Oh my God, a surprise her. She has no idea. It's gonna be so good. Oh. G'day, I'm Maddie and this is Mitch. And we're currently roaming around Australia in our van, surfing, diving, and living slowly inspired by nature. Subscribe to join us on our adventure every week. We're off. We've just left Cairns. We've got a 36 hour drive. So we're gonna do it all in one go. No, we're not. We've got 36 hours to get home. So we're gonna do it in about a week. We're gonna probably stop at Blackdown Tablelands on the way just to break it up. And um, yeah, we're gonna surprise our parents as well. They don't, they don't know we're coming home yet. They think we're coming home in like a month. So yeah, that's gonna be funny. But um, yeah, we're just gonna try and keep ourselves busy with, you know, audio books and podcasts and all the good stuff. There is so many roadworks, it's crazy. We've um, been in the car for eight hours, so we're gonna go another two hours down the road to a country pub. The pub is the Eaton Hotel. It's free stay if you go in and spend some money in the pub, so keen for that. We haven't stayed at a country pub yet, so, and I've wanted to, so I'm keen. And apparently there's a creek and you might be able to see platypus. Yeah, that'd be so cool. Yeah, I've wanted to see a platypus this trip. Ooh, oh, and we're off. Um. We downloaded Audible. We downloaded um, Dark Emu by Bruce Pascoe. And so we're a couple of chapters into that and it is so good already. It's about Aboriginal history, pre-colonization. It's just mind blowing. Highly recommend. Finally, after 10 hours. <laughs> so we just got to our campsite for tonight. Apparently there's platypus just here in the creek. So we're gonna go down and hopefully see one. I think so. That's just a ripple. Oh. What we saw. Was definitely one. We saw it on the surface and then it did a duck dive. Hopefully, it pops up. Just gotten into the Blackdown Tablelands after four and a half hours of driving. So on the side of the road to look at some cows. Cows everywhere, this is so cute. Yeah, we're like at the base of it, at the bottom. So we're, we're heading in, we've got about 20 k's to our campsite. Mm -hmm. Look at it though, it's so cool. driven 1100 k's 
since we left yesterday morning. So we did a big day yesterday, it was 10 hours. And um, we've done about five, uh, four and a half hours today. And so we're gonna stop here, chill for the afternoon, do a bit of exploring tomorrow. This is reminding me of the Grampians though. It's a beautiful drive. Yeah. Doing about 20, but that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. Slow and steady. Apparently the road's pretty bad, um, but we haven't seen that yet. So we'll see how we go. Mads is behind the wheel. Oh, we might be swapping if it gets bad. <laughs> I don't know. Woo. This place is so beautiful. Mm. Very Victoria-like, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty dry. Yeah, real dry. It's a bit bumpy now. That's another top. Love that corrugation. We've swapped, if you haven't already noticed. <laughs> <laughs> this place is so beautiful. The sites are massive. They come with a fire pit and these cool seats around the fire pit. I wish we could spend more time here, but we can only book one night, so it's one of these. Mitch is just having a look under the car. <laughs> um, and tomorrow we're gonna go and do the Rainbow Falls walk. And hopefully look for those cool rock pools that I keep seeing around. So yeah, glad to be here and out of the car. This is too bad. Yeah. Back on the road. Yep. Doing the Gadagamu walk this morning, or the Gudagumu, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I think it's a waterfall. Is it a waterfall? Yeah, I think so. And then there's some um, cool rock pools that we've seen as well that apparently they're hidden, so we've got to go, go and try and find them. So we're going to do this, and then we're going to hit the road again and keep cruising south. It's a 2k walk, 2k one way walk, but the track's super slippery. There's little, little pebbles, little stones. <laughs> <laughs> that are very slippery. <laughs> How are you going? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to grip, but slipping. Of the waters. Loved it. Such a beautiful spot. So peaceful. Not a single soul around, which is awesome. And blue skies. So, yeah, it's been an amazing morning so far. We're going to go check out those famous rock pools. But now we've got to find them. We've got to conquer all the steps. <laughs> yep. We can do it.
<laughs> yes! Conquered it like a champion! Oh no, Mitchie! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> that hill is so steep! <laughs> That was so good! Yeah, that wasn't too bad. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was a bit slippery. A few skids. Yeah, a few skids. Yeah, it was good. That was the hard part. It's an interesting tree. It's real like... You shine your dot towards the side. Chunky. 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 It's a chunky chunky. We're in outback Queensland. No one around. There's no single soul around. Weird farm road. Birds everywhere. We're on our way to somewhere. Tin, tin something? Theodore. Oh, Theodore. We're going to Theodore. We're going to Theodore. Hour and a half away. Hour and a half away? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Quick side of the road, coffee pit stop. Yep, necessary coffee break. We've reached the border. Almost, yeah. We're in New South Wales almost. Woo! It's day four today, and got I'd say we'd have about 1200 k's to go. Yeah, so we're over halfway. Smashing it! Waiting for this kettle to boil. It's just windy at the moment, so I'd say that's I'll give it a give it another 30 seconds. So we've officially landed back in Victoria. We're right on the border actually, we're on the Murray River. We're in a spot called Cobram, which is actually where the Cobram olive oil comes from. I just learnt that this morning. We love that olive oil. And <laughs> we've just found a spot, kind of in the woodlands. The Murray is sort of over there, but you can't really see it. But yeah, it's absolutely freezing. If you can't tell, we're fully rugged up. Yep, we're definitely back in Vic. Yeah. Nice welcome. It was actually kind of funny because we were like driving back from New South. It was like pretty blue skies, getting a bit cloudy, and then we could like see towards Vic and it was just black, just yeah. so dark. Rained on the way through. Yep. But it's a beautiful morning, even though it's really, really cold. So we're gonna have some recce and then we're gonna go down to Ballarat and we're gonna surprise Maddie's mum. Both our parents don't know we're coming home yet, so we're gonna maybe ring her while we're like 20 minutes out. It's just, just to gonna, really throw her yeah, off. Yeah, just to throw her off, just tell her we're in Port Douglas still. I think we're still up there. So it's just gonna be so funny when we walk in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're, I've been thinking about it for ages, like how we're gonna surprise them. Blow some smoke out of your mouth like a dragon. Oh my gosh. It's a bit of a shock to the system because we left Cairns on Wednesday and it's Mon it's today Monday. Monday. Yeah, yeah, it's Monday now. And the craziest thing, we pulled up to a servo in the morning. Walk in, we were a bit hungry, we wanted to try and find something to eat for Brecky. And my uncle was there, my grandma's brother, he's a truck driver. He was in there getting a coffee and I haven't seen him for years. And I just, I had to look twice and I was just like, holy shit. What a coincidence. And yeah, we just stopped and chatted for a while and have some, had some brekkie together and yeah, it was sick. We were in the middle of absolute nowhere. We were in Coonabarra brand <laughs> and um, he was there. Like I'm still, I'm still shocked. Yeah. He's a truck driver. Oh, he's a furniture removalist and he remo moves people um, interstate. And he was there. It's a bloody small world. Mm, crazy. So that was nice. Yeah. How's the brekkie? It's good. It's good. Almost finished. I feel like my hands are gonna fall off. It's that cold. Oh, oh it hurt. Oh, it's only like, it's like not even an hour further up from Cairns. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, so that's in the Atherton Tablelands. So we just got off the phone with mum. <laughs> she thinks we're in Port Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> but we're, no, right. we're about two minutes <laughs> from... We saw her drive past, we had to wait for her to know that she's on her way home. Oh, so we're on our way to mum's. <laughs> And we're going to surprise her. She has no idea. It's going to be so good. Oh. I cannot wait to see the so look excited. on her face when we turn up. Apparently all the horses have gotten out at her place. So there's going to be a few horses running Yeah, around. so when we get there, she'll probably be herding up horses, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> no, cheeky, cheeky faggot. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go surprise Mum now. <laughs> so it has been a while since we've been on the camera it's been a minute we've been home for about five weeks yeah five? yeah the last you would have seen was we came home and surprised our fam and we came home from queensland earlier than we'd originally planned we thought we might come home a little bit earlier do a bit of work save up a bit more money and keep going again so we came home like three weeks earlier mm -hmm. and we have been flat out the whole time it took us about five days to drive home and we pretty much just sent it all the way not through the middle of australia but through like the middle of queensland and new south and then back down to victoria uh, so that was a pretty funny five days just <laughs> driving non-stop yeah we've both been working quite a bit what else have we done been literally out just working yep been out on the boat i've been working out on the boat a bit man's been working at one of the cafes and i've been working for a mate as well we've been working at some markets and things like that we went to tame impala which was sick that was one of the main reasons we were gonna come back at this time because i had tickets I was either going to sell them or go, and we just decided to go. You've had the tickets for like three years. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. So I already had them before we left. And, um. Just been catching up with friends and family, which has been so nice. Mm. Yeah, haven't really been getting in the water much. The surf's been pretty bad. The surf's been bad, and the water's been so dirty from all the floods. Yeah. All the flood water's been pushing out. Mm. from the river mouth so it's so literally been, like six weeks it's yeah. been like that we haven't been surfing really we haven't been diving mm. so we're so excited to get away again and do yep. start doing what we love cannot wait it's been nice back here seeing family but we can get out of a house get back in the van yeah yeah so we've pretty much finished up our work now and we're just gonna start packing up and getting ready to go mm. <laughs> Time to pack all the clothes in. It's uh, leaving day today, so we're just getting all the final bits and pieces in the van.
We've got one last addition, which is we need to put a sticker on the back of the van. Everyone else does it, and we haven't done it yet. So it's our turn. Oh, no, but it's like... Good, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, 